We're going to talk about using a Venn diagram to compare and contrast. Comparing means talking about how things are the same. And contrasting means talking about how things are different. So when we use a Venn diagram, you can see that we have one big circle that goes this way. And we have another circle that goes this way. And right here in the middle, the two circles come together. They cross. We're going to use the Venn diagram to show how one thing and another thing are the same and different. So we're going to use the middle to talk about how the things are the same. We're going to use the outside to talk about how the things are different. Let's talk about two food items today. Let's talk about a jam sandwich and let's compare and contrast that to a hamburger. So when I said jam sandwich, hopefully you have a picture in your head of what a jam sandwich looks like, maybe even, maybe even what it tastes like if you've had one before. And then let's think about what a hamburger looks like and what it tastes like. Over here, we're going to be listing things that are special about the jam sandwich and things that are special about the hamburger. Now here in the middle, where the two circles overlap, remember that where they cross each other, this is where we're going to talk about how the jam sandwich and the hamburger are the same. So I put the jam sandwich and the hamburger there for us to see. First of all, let's think about how they're the same. So if we can think about how both the jam sandwich and the hamburger have bread. On the outsides, both of them have bread. But when we look at that bread, we can see that there are some differences, aren't there? So we can think about how the jam sandwich has sandwich bread on the outside, and that's special just for the jam sandwich. And then we can think about how the hamburger has a hamburger bun, and that's special just for the hamburger. Let's think about another thing that's the same, and let's put that in the middle. Both of these were made to eat. So I wrote made to eat because we can eat a jam sandwich and we can eat a hamburger. Now let's think about the way that they're made and what are the differences for that. Well, a jam sandwich is something that you don't cook. Usually you eat the jam sandwich cold. And what about a hamburger? Over here, I type the word cook because usually we eat a hamburger warm. This one is special for the jam sandwich. That's why it goes on this side. This is special for the hamburger and that's why it goes on this side. And made to eat goes in the middle because it goes with both of them. Both the jam sandwich and the hamburger have a filling. That's something that's the same about them. They have something in the middle. But when we look, we can see that there are differences too. So let's write one difference over here. The jam sandwich has jam in the middle and that's special just for the jam sandwich because we don't see that in the hamburger. Now let's think about the hamburger and what's special about that. The filling in a hamburger is meat. So that's special just for the hamburger. So we have that on this side. You are going to get a chance to try a Venn diagram yourself to show how things are different and how they're the same.